Here's a bit of an early warning for you. This Friday, the movie show that I do with Simon Mayo on Radio 5 Live is moving. Usually we're on from 2 till 4. This Friday, we're on from 12 till 1. Why? Well, because this time, every year, it's Wimbledon. And on 5 Live, everything moves for Wimbledon. Now, if you're a regular listener to the show, you'll know that in the past, we've actually done the movie reviews from Wimbledon. I've had the weird experience of sitting there in the commentary box doing the movie reviews next to these commentators who are really excited about the action that is playing out just feet away from us. But I'm not looking at that because what I know about uh, tennis wouldn't fill the back of a postage stamp. All I'm interested in doing is reviewing the week's movies. And it started me thinking, are there any great tennis movies? You know, if there are, it's hard to bring them to mind. I mean, obviously, there's the film Wimbledon with Paul Bettany. I'm a big Paul Bettany fan. I kind of enjoyed that more than I thought I was going to. In fact, I think I like that movie more than Paul Bettany did. He came on the show a few years later and he was talking about it in not entirely glowing terms. Then, of course, there's the Woody Allen film, Match Point, which many people think is one of his great late period films. I have to say, personally, it doesn't work for me. I don't quite think that the match between the thriller aesthetic and that sort of you know, underlying nastiness works as well as a lot of people think it does. I just think it's a slightly awkward tennis movie, but hey, what do I know? For people of my age, we remember from 1979, Players, you know, with Ali McGraw. Or, from the next year after that, a film called Hot Rackets, which was an adult movie for which the tagline was, it takes balls to play singles and doubles. I think you can do the maths on the rest of the movie. I think the greatest use of tennis in cinema is, in fact, not from a tennis movie, but from Antonioni's Blow Up. I love that movie. And at the end of it, there's a scene when David Hemmings is walking through a park, and suddenly this renegade mime troupe turn up from nowhere, invade a tennis pitch and start pretending to play tennis. And he watches the non-existent ball being knocked back and forth and then it gets knocked out of the pitch and they call upon him to pick it up and throw it back to them. Now, many people consider that in that strange final scene is the key to the central enigma of blow-up, the thing that explains what the film is really about, the divide between imagination and reality. Others think that Antonio only simply ran out of ideas and thought, I know, I'll do a miming tennis sequence. So, let me know, before Friday, what's the best tennis movie ever made?